Hello and welcome to another video. So today we're taking a look at what could effectively be a ramp dragon deck. I'm not really sure how to name this deck entirely. It's running the basic ramp engine with a lot of the ramp support cards, but it's top end and it's middle kind of uh, very different. Haste Dragon Dragonite is not a card you usually see. Alt Plane was cut a long time ago, but it's starting to make a comeback. Ruler of Skies, uh, it's becoming a little more popular now. Hulk and Dragonite is good, and Genesis is actually quite good. Uh, Dragon Horde is something I, even in this video, I don't think I ever got to use, but it's definitely a solid card and choice when you're trying to go for things, especially if you get it turn one. It's a very, very good card. This deck can be extremely consistent considering how its cards are spread. So if you guys will enjoy it, and we'll get right into it. So kicking off our first game, when of course the game catches up, there we go. We are going up against Portal, another pretty popular deck right now. Usually it's predictable, it's going to be uh, some sort of uh, Maisha Leisha Portal. If you've seen my Portalcraft video, you know what deck I'm talking about. If you haven't, I recommend you go watch it, it was actually quite a good deck. So Dragon Oracle, Sermon of Disdain, and Rose, all actually really good. If I can just get something else to go along with this, and another another Dragon Oracle, that's actually really good. Dragon Oracle into Dragon Oracle Servant of Disdain for turn 3 will be good. We can go with that quite easily, and then by the time we get 5 play points, we can go for Anne Rose, plus another 2 drop if we want it. So we're going to be able to ramp up pretty rapidly, which is exactly what you want to do with this deck. And since they're using a puppet here, enjoy destruction. We don't get unfortunately out of draw, but it's not really what I was aiming for anyway. I was just trying to bait whatever I could out. We didn't get too lucky though. I mean, our opponent's set up with a border 1 1, so it's definitely going to be pretty soul crushing to deal with. Fortunately for us, our ramp has been really good. We're going to be at 8 next turn alone, so if we have to, Hulking Dragonut or Poseidon will both be really good plays. And it was nice to see that. It was actually tempts me into using Alter Plane next turn instead. So going for the Evo makes a lot of sense. They're going to try and whittle me down as much as they can, leave me at just 9 health. Especially since they haven't played anything else crazy yet. I did decide to take the Alter Plane, since I have a good chance of using it now, and I can always use Hulking Giant next turn. And I'm kind of glad I actually got two quite good cards that will help actually wipe this board. Being able to generate puppets, even if it does cost us the Evo here. So this may not have been the perfect way to handle it. I could have always alter planed and sent that in instead, but this was pretty okay. Now they're getting their healing, not that they need healing, so they're definitely only focusing on the puppet removal aspect right now. And now they've used all their evos, I'm not really concerned with any of their win conditions since they didn't get Omen out and they didn't get Maisha out, which is definitely not going to do well for them. Especially once I drop Hulking Giant next turn, followed by the Poseidon uh, Raging Dragon combo, which is pretty much undefeatable from their point of view right now. So nice Mecha Wing Angel. Well, it's actually not a bad hand. I'm trying to do a fairly good job, but it's really not going to be enough. We can completely wipe their board and go for the 7 damage to face. Maybe even 9 if we use Evo. Not that we need to waste our Evo yet. And that was the Concede. Not a shocker, I mean. Dealing with that board with the limited hand size, not good. Following on from that match, I believe we have a Dragon versus a Dragon. Another pretty straightforward matchup. Basically going to be who can outvalue the opponent first. The spread of decks now is actually not too bad. Elena Haven is still super powerful deck, and if you're looking to climb, that straight up is one of the best, better ones to climb with. But I think everything else is balanced out a lot more. Dragon is starting to become more prevalent. Rune, of course, being even more powerful than it was as a counter deck. Uh, things like Portal making a full comeback without much issue. 
And from what I've seen in the last few days, mono blood seems to be dropping off at least slightly, so... It's not a huge shock, it's just something new. So I'm going to go for a pretty maximum draw orientated turn. Being able to use our Disciple, we've actually managed to do uh, four draws total this turn once we include our initial draw, so... That's actually pretty good. Especially with Andrew's turn, potentially. Or we can even take a Dragon... Dragon Oracle instead with another... Really just depends on which way we want to go, so we decide to take the Dragon Oracle and the Disciple of Disdain option. Probably should have went for the one ping to face though first, I could have done that without an issue. It does mean I didn't play the Ant Rose, which honestly could have been better just going for a straight up Ant Rose play. So the dragon opponent looks to be playing some form of aggro-ish dragon, I would say, judging by how they're handling this. And that's a pretty good option to be fair, they're going for a very good turn. Unfortunately for them, we have our Genesis, which is just straight up removal and a extra play point, so it didn't really lose us anything in the long run other than maybe that Evo point, but definitely worth it to take out a full board. They immediately go to filling up again though, another full board. Not really a problem for us, as Omen of Disdain plus whatever we want really here for the Disciple should be fine. Plus we still got the Evo points, so we can actually wipe the entire board and leave them with just a single card in hand and relying on top decking from then on. So this game will definitely be swung in our favour now. And obviously, as I said, that's enough, there's no more they can do with that. So this deck was actually extremely consistent and very well played. It's very easy to get the hang of and adjust. As long as you can get your ramp up fairly early, you're not going to have any trouble. And even when you don't get your ramp up, there are some decently valued cards like the Servant of Disdain and Anne Rose that you can play out even pre-Evo and get some good value out of. So if you guys did enjoy this video, you'll find the link in the description below. Also be sure to hit the like button and subscribe. Until next time guys, see ya.